indigenous people of Esan. We are second to none. It is very important that without short narrating our Esan history, we do narrate our Esan history and put it in a very right perspective. Today, I want to teach us about the true history of Uboha Kingdom. Uboha is originally known as Owaha, although these two names are of the same meaning. But by reason of the various dialects that is spoken in Esan language, it can be pronounced as Owaha or Uboha. Uboha and Owaha means from where life began. In all actuality, Owaha means interland. In other words, the inhabited Esan people who had their settlement in the interland of Esan and turned the interland of Esan into a cultural land and industrialized land. Hence, the name Owaha was derived now popularly known as Uboha. The community in Uboha Kingdom are a Gware community, a Mado community, Idunu Haza community, Uzobon community, Inneme community, Amalu community, Idegun community, Otoihiri community. Owaha or Uboha, from where life began, as a people already began their lives in Esan land. They already had their settlement in Esan land ever before Idu Igodo Migodo kingdom and Bini kingdom was later formed. After Esan people had their settlement in Esan land, some Esan people later sojourned from Esan land towards the present day southern Nigeria. Upon the arrival of some Esan people who sojourned from Esan land to the south, they joined multi ethnic groups of people there in the south to form a kingdom known as the Du Igodo Migodo Kingdom. On the long run, after the formation of the Du Igodo Migodo Kingdom by multi ethnic groups of people, the Edo people arrogantly arrogated Oba dynasty from Ileife into the Idu Igodo Migodo Kingdom, like we all know. Two cannot walk except they agree about dynasty that was arrogantly arrogated from Ileife into the Idu Igodo Migodo kingdom was not by way of agreement by all the ethnic groups who formed the Idu Igodo Migodo kingdom. About dynasty that happened to be alien dynasty to the people of Idu Igodo Migodo kingdom was actually a dynasty that began the Bini kingdom in Idu Igodo Migodo land. This other dynasty that is unknown to the Esan people was a cruel dynasty. By reason of the cruelty of Oba that is unknown to the Esan people, the Esan people decided to disassociate themselves from Idu Igodo Migodo land that was formed or turned into Bini kingdom. And those Esan who disassociated themselves from Bini Kingdom went back to Esan land from where they originally sojourned out from towards the south. The Esan people who came from Bini to rejoin the Esan in Esan land are not Bini people. They are not in any way biological children of any other of Bini, but they are the Esan who actually sojourned a way or acts of Esan land that later came back from Benin to rejoin their Esan people who already had their settlements in Esan land ever before Idu Igodo Migodo Kingdom was formed. And when they arrived to Esan land, they introduced a Gware monarchical structure which they also instituted in Idu Igodo Migodo that was arrogantly later turned into Bini Kingdom. During the industrialization of Esan land, the Esan people of Owaha, who are also known as Uboha people of Esan, they were the humans gifted with iron metal and blacksmith production in that era there in Idu Igodo Migodo Kingdom at about 925 AD. The settlement of 
the S and Uboha people, who also joined the multi ethnic groups of people to form the Idu Igodo Migodo kingdom that was later arrogantly turned to Bini kingdom. Their settlement is known as Idumugun, which is called Igunuboha to date there in Bini city. Their second settlement is known as Iguadaha. Their third settlement is known as Iguenyanugi. Their fourth settlement as, is known as Iguiselu. It is very important to note that the Esan people, who deified their Esan people, that brought the knowledge of iron metal and blacksmith production to humanity, they deified their Esan people and called that deity Idigun. It can be put in Esan language, deity, Ebo. Idigun is what we call iron deity. The Yoruba call iron deity Ogun. Ogun is not the name for iron deity in Esan land, but Idigun. Ogun that is popularly known today in Benin was ushered into Benin by the Edo people who arrogantly arrogated Oba dynasty from Ilefe Yoruba land into the Idu, the Godo Migodo kingdom. Their essence, Ogun is not the word for iron deity. Ogun is Yoruba word for iron deity. It is mainly used by the Benin who came from Yoruba land. The name for iron deity is called Idigun in Esan language. As a matter of fact, there is a Digun community in Uboha kingdom. The people of the Digun community in Uboha kingdom and the people of Uneme community in Uboha kingdom, together with Eben, the Esan warrior, and with Enowe the Great, the Uboha Esan warrior world leader. These Esan are responsible for the production of blacksmith weapons of war and tools for farming. They also invented the Ada and Eben. Although some other tribes in Nigeria who now also use Ada and Eben as their royal symbol, they also have their respective names to Ada and Eben in accordance to their spoken language. As a matter of fact, amongst all the tribes and languages that uses Ada and Eben as their royal symbol, the Esa people are the only ethnic groups who have a kingdom called Igwebe kingdom. Igwebe actually means the village of Eben. As we can all see, this speaks volume on where Eben actually came from. Who is Eben? Eben was an Esan man who was also a great warrior of the Esan people during the 15th century. During that 15th century, it happened that Oba Esige was the Oba that was on throne and Oba to the Bini people. Oba Esige took war to the Ata Igala people and Oba Esige, by reason of the casualty they suffered in the hands of the Ata Igala people, Oba Esige came to hire the services of that Esan warrior called Eben. It wasn't that Eben was a biological son to Oba Esige or any Oba of Benin. By origin, by birth, Eben happened to be Esan person. To get more facts and more details, about the Esan history, you are invited to come join the indigenous people of Esan Association so that together we can continue to narrate our history without short narrating our history. Our history cannot afford to be short narrated.